Today I would like to show you how to use a node and express to build a REST API and all of the CRUD operations. So let's just get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is just to make it easier, we will just use a, a DB uh, object and attach all of the properties to it. That way we can uh, show all the database operations uh, just in the in memory. So let's uh, do the first one, which is the create. I have copied it, so it will save me a little bit time. Uh, so let me just explain to you. Basically, what it says is, uh, when we get a post to a resource which has a slash followed by something, which is in this case we are going to call it as a parameter ID. It can be accessed under this route as a request, which is the incoming request, as params.id. And in the database, which we have here, db, we are going to assign whichever whatever came in the body of the post. So for the create, we normally use the post HTTP verb. And we will just return a response with the request.body. And this is what the create would be. So it's pretty straightforward. So if we post uh, something to uh, an endpoint, such as let's say here I'm saying it to post it to Harry, it is going to create that uh, resource. Uh, the retrieve is the easiest. And let me uh, show how to do that. Uh, basically, to do the retrieve, we are going to use the get HTTP verb. It's the same thing. We have the parameter. Uh, here, what we are going to do is we will access the database and see if it is available. If it is, then we will assign it that to the string. If it's not available, we'll just assign an empty object. And here is the response. So that's what the retrieve will do uh, to an endpoint. And if I look at an update, Update is going to use the verb uh, put uh, for HTTP to update the resource. And the way it works is basically whatever data comes in, we will update the database with the new request.body and send the response as the body. And the last one is usually the delete. And uh, for that, we can use the delete HTTP verb. And uh, we'll delete it delete the property from the database and for the response I'm just going to say that message was successfully deleted and that's pretty much all we need to build a, a, a simple REST API and obviously you can add uh, more bells and whistles, error handling and database and all that kind of stuff. So let's see this in action and I'm just going to start the node here and uh, I'm going to just access it uh, a resource called Harry and as you can see, there was nothing. It will have just an empty object. So to build that object, basically to the point endpoint Harry, I'm going to use the verb post, which is uh, what you would normally use. And I have uh, a JSON. Basically, author is Harry. Title is awesome book. And I'm going to do a, a post. And here you can see in this, I can see the response as uh, basically that's what we were sending back as the response. Uh, see here the request.body so we're getting the response so now if once it is built in the database uh, we can see if we do a get to the resource here we get that uh, awesome Harry book and which is fantastic so I've already shown you the create and the retrieve action let's do the update for the update we'll just make it simple we'll say title and we'll just say new awesome book uh, new awesome book as what we want to update and we will change the verb to put and this should update the resource. And if I see it, uh, well, it comes back as new awesome book. But if I go back in here and we retrieve the uh, book, we can see that we got the new awesome book. So that's fantastic. And the last verb I want to show you is basically just do the delete. So if we wanted to do a delete, we'll go back in here, put a delete, and do a delete. And we came back with a message successfully deleted. And if we access the resource, it's going to be pretty empty. So as I've shown you how easy it is to build. Uh, in terms of how and where you can find more resources, you can go to my website, look under JavaScript or under node.js and you should have all the sources. Thank you for watching this short screencast.